Hey guys, what's up? Absolutely Beast bringing you um, a background race of Forza 6 uh, because apparently uh, peop some people need it to be made clear uh, ahead of time because you can't tell by the screenshot um, and by my previous videos, but uh, there will be no gameplay of Forza 7 in this video. I'll be talking about Forza 7 and Project Cars 2 probably a little bit, but there will be no gameplay of either one of those two games. I'm just a plebe like you guys, and I have no early access to games like that. I have no way of playing those games, and I, I'm not about to go take footage that's already out there and then put in every single video already, so that's just where we are. So, guys, the support has been fantastic on my uh, Forza 7 vs. Project Cars 2 video. Um, I mean, we're talking about an absolute explosion of views compared to what I normally get what I've been getting for the last couple months on my channel, we're talking about a massive, massive increase, an absolutely exponential increase. So thank you for that. It's good to know there's a lot of you guys out there who are just as pumped up about these two games as I am. Um, I don't want it to seem like I'm not pumped up for uh, Project Cars 2 because I very much am. Um, I just haven't done as much research into that one and I tend to you know, skew more towards the Forza side of things because you know, I, I like racing and I like the realistic racing, but you know, sometimes the, the full simulation stuff is a little bit much for me. You know, I don't want to have to worry about setting up my fuel before the race to make sure I don't run out. I don't want to worry about, you know, having to go in and change my tires when it when the weather starts changing a little bit. That's just, that's not something I enjoy doing. Um, it's fun, in, in, you know, in bunches, but I'm not going to sit and play Project Cars for hours. That's just not, I, I don't, that's not going to happen. I don't see that happening. It's not, I, I mean, like I said, I'm into it, and I love the tuning and all that kind of stuff, and I love spending hours tuning the car and just dialing in the, the aero and, and my tire pressure and, and you know messing with the springs a little bit to get exactly the right feel out of it um, but then you know then it's set up and then I can load that tune on, on multiple tracks and be good to go I don't like constantly tweaking everything and it's a little bit extreme for me so um, but yeah I mean I've done at, at the um, at the advice of one of, the, one of you guys who commented I watched um, I checked out a, a video that you had linked in the comment um uh, Hebrew Sim Racing, you know who you are, but uh, you linked a video of a Project Cars which I watched and I was very uh, interested in. I watched uh, the whole 30 minute thing and I checked out about an hour's worth of other videos about Project Cars 2 and it just seems like um, there's a few uh, differences, key differences at least between uh, Project Cars 2 and Forza Motorsport 7. I mean obviously, you know, they're, they're almost even in different genres I would say. Um, you know, Forza Motorsport 7 is a I mean, I would consider a racing simulator. I know that some of you who are hardcore sim racers would not. Um, but you know, I mean, what are you gonna, what are you trying to compare it to? Like Need for Speed? I mean, if you're saying it's like Need for Speed or like Forza Horizon, I mean, that's you know, that's not true at all. This is a lot more like a simulator than any of those games. Now, it may not be a, a super hardcore simulator, you know, but you know, it, it is still a simulation type racing game nonetheless. So. Um, it's something that I enjoy a lot of. Um, multiplayer tends to be where I spend most of my time. Um, you know, the careers of these type of games, I don't mind. Um, I do them for achievements, and it's kind of fun just for the experience, but definitely not something I would replay for any reason. Um, no of no interest to me. Um, but what I'm interested in is the dynamic stuff, which is why I race multiplayer, because every single race is different. Every time you race, I mean, you could race the same track twice in a row, and it'd be different both times for sure because there's many people on the track and there's lots of different conditions and stuff. And it just seems like, um, you know, both of these games, even the current versions, Forza Motorsport 6 and uh, Project Cars 1 are both, you know, very good at doing that. They're both very dynamic and offer a really different experience each time you race each of the tracks. So to see that these games have both ramped it up to the next level, Turn 10 and Slightly Mad Studios have both ramped it up to even the next level um, is pretty insane. You know, to think about where we're going with these games, you know, to think about the fact that, um, you know, Project Cars is talking about when it rains, you're going to have drying lines, custom drying lines, depending on the race or dynamic driving, drying lines. So as there's a puddle, if it stops raining, as people start to go through that puddle, there'll be hydroplaning and stuff like that, obviously. Um, but as people start to smash through that puddle and they start spraying the water out, then the puddle will start to dissipate and the game will start to dry or the, the uh, track will start to dry. And the more people drive over a certain line, the more it'll start to dry in that pattern, um, which is so cool. Um, 
you know, one of the things, uh, the two things that sort of get me the most out of these, out of all the things I heard though, um, is, you know, they're talking about Live Track 3.0 with Project Cars 2, which is um, Live Track 3.0 is basically their system that um, keeps everything, uh, you know, active during the race. So you're talking about, uh, you know, some of the things we've talked about with Forza um, for this new game. Um, you're talking about, you know, ambient temperatures, you're talking about different times of day, you're talking about different, you know, seasons, which I haven't heard them mention in Forza yet. Um, I don't know that they would do that, but either way, um, you know, you're talking about different temperatures of the track, d differences between shade and sunlight, you know, wind gusts. Um, you're talking about different grips based on your tires, and um, a lot of stuff is very dynamic. And But the two for me that, that were really, really sick, um, when I heard these, I, I got super pumped. And this was months, I mean, this was six months ago when I first started hearing about Project Cars 2. Um, you know, one of the things is the uh, the racing line. So those of you who watch racing will know that, um, and he said this in the in the Project Cars 2 video, but he said, uh, you know, those of you will know a track when you start qualifying on a Saturday morning is much different, um, or start practicing on Saturday morning and then qualifying is much different than, uh, you know, Sunday afternoon. You know, as, as cars drive over and over and over. Built for high speed and notoriously dangerous. Oh, okay, thanks lady. As you drive over the track more and more and more, each car lays down more and more rubber. So over time, the driving line becomes more and more grippy because there's more and more rubber down on the track, um, which was super exciting to me. But the other thing that was really exciting was something that uh, Hebrew Sim met, uh, Racing mentioned in one of my comments on that video, which is um, something I'd forgotten about until he brought it up, which was, you know, if a car goes off the track, goes through some dirt or some gravel, then when they get back on the track, that's going to come back on the track. So the car behind him or the car, you know, 10 cars behind him that comes around that same corner um, is going to have, you know, is going to experience a little bit of grip issues. Um, and so, you know, it's the same thing with Forza. We've seen in the, in the demo for the uh, the Dubai track in the E3 uh, that the, and there's a good stall there. Uh, we see from the uh, E3 briefing that there's a portion of the track that has sand all over it. Um, and it looks like it's, you know, different kind of like it'll blow off or it'll come back on. And so... Um, you know, like I said, the, the dynamic thing, and I have a video talking about all the different things in Forza, you know, it's called Forza 7 Dynamic Everything, and that just sort of discusses all the different things we were talking about, and uh, so it's good to see those making their way into Forza Motorsport, because um, those are things that have been, you know, exclusive to like a Project Cars type title, um, which is a little more simulation oriented, and um, when we initially played Project Cars 1, me and my friends, when it came out a couple years ago, we were super, super, super excited for it. I mean, I was heavy into the racing then, just, you know, I'm not as heavy into it now, but uh, I was really heavy into the racing then, and we loved doing, we loved doing Formula A, just loved it. The cars just scream, and the, the grip and everything, it's just such a violent experience, and, you know, you get to pit and change tires and put on your intermediates when it starts raining, and, and then go back to the, you know, slicks after a couple laps and everything dries out, but um, just, you know, both these games, Project Cars 2 and Forza Motorsport 7 are both taking it to the next level. So anything you liked about the games before, the previous versions of the games are still there, and everything is better. You know, pr uh, Project Cars, um, because they're already in sort of the hyper real realm. Um, you know, what he said was their main focus was fixing the issues that they had to begin with, um, which was gamepad support, meaning the controller support. Um, you know, a lot of people will race on wheel and stuff like that, which, as I've said before, I'm not a fan of the wheel. I I, I wouldn't buy one, wouldn't use one. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's not the same to me. It's not, that's not why I play racing games. I play racing games for the competition and for the, you know, the racing and all that kind of stuff. I, I, I don't, you know, I don't want to actually drive, you know. If I did that, I'd just go hop in my car and go somewhere. But, you know, that's not why I do it. I do it for the, for the awesomeness. And that's why I love, yeah, I don't know what I was going to say there. But that's why I like Forza 7, why it looks why it's going to seem good to me because the, the graphics are going to be absolutely insane but you know since since they didn't have the hardcore sim aspect of it in forza motorsport um that's what they're working on this time around so while project cars was busy you know fixing the issues that they had to begin with and making it even more dynamic you know forza 7 is making everything more dynamic you know dynamic weather dynamic tracks dynamic you know everything so um it's just really exciting uh, it's a great year someone else said it perfectly in my comment section they said it's going to be a great year to be a, a racing fan and i completely agree i can't wait so let me know what you guys think let me know what you're looking forward to more project cars 2 or forza motor 4 7 
um, or Gran Turismo if you're a PlayStation player. I don't know why you'd be here if you're a PlayStation player, but either way, I appreciate it. Thank you guys again. Uh, make sure you check out my channel. Make sure you check out my other videos and subscribe if you want more content. Check back soon. Thanks, guys.